Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Um, today I have a quick app review of Guitar Hero for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, this app is going to be hard for me to completely review because of the copyrighted songs and stuff. So I'm just going to give you kind of an overview. It'll be kind of quick. Um, I wanted to tell you um, two main things before um, I get too into this. Um, first of all, um, I have had... Um, two little problems with this app. Um, the first problem is uh, that after I play a song and finish it, uh, there's a little button at the bottom that comes up that says song list. Um, and every time I, almost every time I click on it, a lot of the time, like at least 80% of the time that I click on it, the, complete, the app completely crashes and goes back to main menu, like, or springboard. Um, so, that that's uh, my first problem that I'm having uh, with the app. The other problem is when I'm playing a song, sometimes it will lag a little, and the song will just like kind of like stop for or it'll pause for a second, and then like half a second later it'll start up again, but it'll act as if you were playing it the whole time, and um, so you miss those notes, and um, so it can kind of kill your score a little. It does it at least like once per song, but I don't know, it's not too bad. Um, but other than that, the gameplay is very smooth. Um, it's better than the, like rock band, rock band and stuff uh, on the I iPhone. Uh, so it is better than that. Um, so this is what you get when you log on. It says connecting. Uh, that's an online thing uh, for updates and stuff. Um, here's backstage. This is a cool feature. Um, so you've got uh, dressing room, photo booth, help, game stats, and credits. You can uh, switch uh, the look of your little character uh, however you want. You can tap on the area that you want to change. Like if I want to change a guitar, tap on the guitar. And if I have uh, different types unlocked, um, I can change them to uh, and whatever I want. And there's you can change the color and all kinds of stuff. Um, so let's go back. Uh, let's go back again. So that's the dressing room. You can change everything about your character, like everything. Here's the photo booth. Photo booth. Um, and you just kind of drag your finger. Let's wait for it to load. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So you just tap that. Drag your finger wherever you want to take the picture of. Like if you want to take a picture of the guitar, or of his head, or whatever. Um, then you just click this button. Boom. Takes a picture, and uh, it's in your camera roll. Um, and there's different poses and all kinds of stuff that you can mess around with. You can also put it on Facebook, um, just to inform you of that. Uh, then there's help, and then there's stats and credits. Uh, so that's backstage. Um, then there's challenges, and it tells you, um, let me show you. Um, tells you your overall progress and how many songs you played and stuff. Um, so there's that. And as you can see, there's a crash right there. Um, I'm sort of glad it did that so I could just show you guys um, that it does seem to crash um, quite a bit. Um, I'm not really completely sure why because my iPod is perfectly fine but it does do that and this is the only app that I've been having crash trouble with um, so maybe it's just that it's made for iPod and iPhone 3G and 3GS and stuff but I'm not sure about that so here's community connect to Facebook there's leaderboards you can tell a friend and there's customer support which is nice and there's of course the store where you can buy different music, uh, different music, and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I don't want to do that if it's gonna play like copyrighted music, cause that would be bad. So let's go back. And that's basically it. You click play, and you choose your song, and um, you can choose easy, medium, hard, and uh, I think there's extreme or whatever, or expert. I mean, uh, so. Yeah, and then you can choose uh, either guitar or bass and play it like that. So it comes preloaded with six songs. You can buy um, more packs of three songs for $1.99 a piece. 
Um, there's like, I don't know, um, six more packs that you can buy, so you could have a total of 24 songs, I think, total. Um, so there's 18 that you can buy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, this app, uh, I give it about a three and a half out of five star because of the crashing. That's, it just kind of kills it. Um, but other than that and the lag, um, this is really good app and, uh, I really like it. So check it out. It's $2.99 in the app store and, uh, that's about it. All right, guys, please subscribe. Peace.